Hey guys, welcome back to part two in this video series of my Inferno Squad costume build. Uh, today we're going to have a quick look at the armor and finishing the armor pieces that I was sent. Uh, like I said in my previous video, these pieces were provided by a maker called Jamiroquai who works out of the Philippines. And I'm just going to show you some of the armor pieces, so let's go. So the pieces of armor that Inferno Squad wear are based on the Rogue One TIE Pilot armor, which is uh, the same as the Rogue One TK armor, just in black. Um, now Jumurakai did an excellent sculpt uh, for these Rogue One bits and does casts in a flexible fiberglass. Uh, it's a bit different to regular fiberglass in that it seems to be infused with some kind of um, resin, but I have some bits to show you now, so I'm just going to grab them. So here's the front piece. This is straight out of the box. I've not done any prep to any of these, so they come really well trimmed, to be honest. It's pretty much there. Uh, it's really quite good. The only thing we have to sort out is the finish, which I believe can be done by just uh, sanding up the grits uh, to a polish, and it should be fine to wear. On the back, you can see uh, the fiberglass layering on there. But this piece is pretty flexible. I mean, I don't think it's gonna crack anytime soon. Um, even if I drop it, you know, it's fiberglass. It's pretty solid, but also flexible. It's pretty good. So there we go, that's the front piece. That's gonna go there. It's pretty good. There's the back. But really, it's really, really crisp detail. It's so much crisper than some of the ABS armors and bits I've had in the past. It's just super good. Look at that. So that's the back. Also very flexible. Not gonna break. The other bits that go with this armor are, we have two pieces here. Now these are side pieces. They, they're gonna go round here. They kind of strap you in and join the two halves together. This is something new they did for Rogue One, I believe, um, with their pilots, which they've carried on to Battlefront 2. So we've got those pieces. And we have the shoulder straps there. So they're obviously gonna get glued to the front and back. Lovely. And then the final bit, which is a bit specific to Hask, are these. Now these are very similar, but not exactly the same as the front of the TK belt. They're gonna go around the middle. But uh, Hask in Inferno Squad actually wears them across his shoulder, one front and back like a bandolier. So I've got two of those to make that out of. So they're gonna sit something like that. Again, nice and flexible, so we can get a nice curve around which is where it goes, like that. Those are the raw pieces. Now I'm just gonna start uh, sanding them down and getting them ready. Hopefully that should be all I need to do with them. I need to cut out some of the holes and things for the straps, glue the side pieces on and whatnot. I might sort out some Velcro closures. But other than that, it seems pretty simple. So we're gonna go do that. So what I've done so far here is just hit this with some fine grade steel wool. This is not back some of the um, the kind of casting, not residue, but it was kind of rough from the casting. This is really polish it out quite nicely. Now the seller did say you could hit this with a clear coat just to finish it. You know, it's quite black already, but he also said you could paint it. So I'm gonna paint it. Hopefully a plastic primer will stick to this sort of flexible fiberglass finish. It kind of feels, almost on, between kind of plastic and rubber that kind of feels like um, but hopefully the plastic primer will stick and then we can put a gloss black over the top and hopefully that'll look cool so I'm going to go and have a go at painting this right now so here are the first few bits I've primed uh, this is uh, again just kind of a test to see if the primer is going to stick you know I should, probably should have just done one perhaps before I did all of them but there they are all primed up hopefully that will be alright I'm just going to leave that to to kind of get to touch dry then I can move them. So this turned out to be fine, the primer stuck so I went ahead and primed the front and the back as well then went in with a gloss black for the top coat. Look at this shiny gloss coat, look at that. So all the pieces have had their uh, gloss black coat, they're looking really cool. Really loving the finish of that paint, it seems to have stuck really well. And of course this is going to go here, 
all I've got to do now, before I glue it together, is to give it a clear coat. And what I'm just going to do is use this. It is a Rust-Oleum gloss finish clear coat. And that's just going to help protect the paint job, keep it nice and shiny. Although I might go in and weather it again, but we've got to just protect that paint. I don't think it's going anywhere and it's got a nice finish already, but this will just uh, add that extra security as we take it out trooping and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that and then we're going to glue it together. So in regards to putting this together, what I've decided is to not use glue of any kind because what I had to consider was how I was going to travel with all this when I'm going to go and costume in it. And having these bits glued is going to make this a really big sort of entity to try and pack away and it's going to be able to stack much flatter if I can keep it in as many individual pieces as possible. So what I'm going to do is just use some industrial Velcro uh, and stick it on. I'm going to rough up areas like here where there's going to be patches of Velcro and yeah that should do it the velcro is self-adhesive so i'm hoping that will be okay if not i can just add a bit of glue in there to help it stick i'm gonna do the same to sort of on the ends of these yeah and hopefully that should do it and then we should be able to do a test fit so i'm just using a sort of medium grit sandpaper and just roughing up that surface where that velcro is going to connect just so that it has a better chance of sticking on there so the velcro is just stuck in place like so and then i just run some super glue on the edges just to help keep it in place as we're pulling it on and off but that should be fine to hold it all together and there we go there it is all fitted up i had to trim some of the other side of these side bits away just so it sits flush under here but all joined up at the sides it's all just velcro attached so i can shift it around and adjust the fit a little bit but overall i'm really happy it fits really well I may add some weathering to this just to bring it down a bit and make it look a bit used but other than that yeah so cool we are getting there with the Inferno Squad build now one part of the armor that you've seen that I haven't done are these which are the boxes for the bandolier uh, I'm gonna do that in an upcoming video but they are painted they are nice and glossy black but we'll make the uh, the belt that goes across here I need to get the leather for that which is why it's not been done yet but that'll be fun we'll do that but other than that I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next part take care bye bye